Okay, folks, if you're watching the first video, you're probably wondering what happened. And what happened is I have really large fingers and I hit these keys and turned the video off right after the uh, first shot. The second shot created a bunch of very nice pathways down through the uh, blisk gelatin. Unfortunately, it seems like every time I touch this iPhone, I turn it back off. So I'm going to do the rest of this second video without touching it. But I'll try to put stuff up uh, against the screen to kind of show you what's going on. One of the things I'm going to do this time around, I am going to fire the 725 grain again, but instead of firing it through 22 inches, I'm going to fire it through 9 inches of ballistic gelatin, but my backstop is going to be a uh, Waller Safe Aim Level 3 ballistic panel. This is a ballistic panel designed to stop up to 45 caliber. Um, it's not designed to stop armor piercing, but my bullet is not armor piercing. It's just really, really big. So we're going to use that as the backstop and see what that does. See if that thing's able to stop the uh, 725 grain lead slug. And that's actually the first thing we're going to do. Okay, so it goes without saying the sucker went through uh, nine inches of ballistic gelatin, and there we go. It did actually stop this bullet on the other side. Way to go, Waller. Take that sucker out of there. Well, it's inside the plastic now. Now, it created a heck of a dent on the backside. If you've been wearing this, it probably would have broke a rib or two, but this thing would have stopped that particular round. So, way to go. Maybe that was a good investment. The next one I'm going to do is uh, the shot round, since we uh, did not get to do that before. What I'm aiming for is this bone. When this thing hits uh, something like the uh, ballistic gelatin, it does tend to break up. Sometimes it's in clump. But I think with that bone, what's going to happen is some of it may embed, may even crack the bone. It's going to drive it further into that ballistic gelatin. And I think we're going to have a lot of paths from the uh, shot. Because it is 400 grains a shot. Just talk amongst yourselves. There we go. Okay, well... I definitely underestimated it. It shattered that bone and it tore that up big time. Now it's a dog bone, don't get me wrong. It's got the little dog filler in there. However, they start with a typical cow bone and it hit that and broke that sucker up. Okay, well this thing is beginning to look pretty rough, but I wanna try one more thing since we didn't get to see it in the last video. And that is this uh, one with the 32 caliber pellets. Since uh, this worked so good before, I'm going to set that right back there. And I'm going to get this 32 caliber pellet one up and going. Let me show you what it can do. Now, it sounds like it stopped, but that is not what happened. What it did is it ripped a giant hole out of the back. So I'm hoping you can see that, but you've got this massive cavity here. Uh, and in that massive cavity is a lot of lead shot. You may be seeing what looks like dirty little specks. That's all the lead shot from the last round. And the 32 caliber went through and through. And I see... Uh, one of the lead balls there that uh, impacted and flattened itself out on that ballistic gelatin. Maybe a couple others mixed in there. But at this point, this uh, ballistic gelatin is thoroughly trashed. However, there is good news. You can take ballistic gelatin like this, and it's actually good for about a month. What you do is you take it right back into the pan that you cooked it in the first time, heat it up to 140 degrees, 
turns into a liquid and put it into a mold and reuse it again. And that is what I'm gonna do for the next video, which is, let me grab them here. I'm going with 50 cal next time. And what it's going to be is a 50 cal Sabo. See if you can get a good picture of that there. 50 cal Sabo. So it's got a 45 caliber bullet with a steel core in it. And I'm gonna find something interesting to put that thing through, but I also wanna test it on ballistic gelatin. Yeah, a good thing to try that uh, Waller uh, panel there on, see if it goes through that or not. And then the other one is the same shot round for the 72. I also make that in a 50 cal. It's about 225 grains of lead shot. Does about the same thing this one does on a smaller scale. So that will be the next uh, video. And with that, I think we're about done. I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.